looking for love online but you're striking out, our next guest can help you for a price. She is a dating app ghostwriter. To find out exactly what that is, please welcome Meredith Golden. Hi, Meredith. Hi. What is it? <laughs> Essentially, I am the fairy godmother for online dating. I do the work and then my client shows up for the date. Right, okay, so you actually write the profile for the client? I write the profile, I make sure they have good pictures, and I am swiping and hearting and Xing and swiping left, and I make sure that the people who are in their inbox or quality candidates. Do you actually have conversations with the potential candidates? And then I as have that person? You betcha. Isn't that a little fraudulent? Yeah. Totally, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> you admit it is, though. It works. Okay. And the date is the real person. It's not me. And mm. then that's where the connection happens. But I, how have you gotten in that person's head to mimic them enough to where the person that shows up on the date is really like what you've been setting her up to be, or him? I get, I get it enough. Right, so I, I'm able to feel what someone's energy is and their personality, and then I get their tone, I get their voice, I write as them, and then when they show up, it's not like anyone shows up for a date and someone will say, oh, you're so much funnier on Bumble. You know, that's not how it works. <laughs> okay, Meredith, right. I yeah. need to know about your success rate. I want percentages here. Right. I want to know. So I would say about 70% success rate. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. As in they get, actually get married or they continue to date this person As for a long time? continue to date. Yes. Right. Wow. And your background is in psychotherapy, so, so yeah. obviously you're educated on relationships and on how this is supposed to work. What's the biggest mistake people are making? Oh, geez, so <laughs> many mistakes. Where to start? Um, well, my biggest pet peeve is that people don't schedule as quickly as they should. So it'll linger. I call it turtis, tur turtle pace, right? It just keeps on going. When you say it, what are you referring to? The Scheduling it, getting it on the calendar. Oh, to actually mm -hmm. get on the app. Get it. Well, once you're on the app and you're going back and forth with the messages, the guy might say, hey, do you want to meet up for a drink? And then the female uh, should say, sure, I'd love to. What's your schedule next week? And that should be wrapped up, boom, 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 in 12 hours. And even if it's scheduled seven to 10 days out, at least it's on the calendar. Mm -hmm. So what's the number one thing you can do to make yourself so irresistible that everybody will want to date you online? Okay, have your clothing on in a picture make eye contact with the camera, don't make a silly face, don't do a mug shot. Don't make a silly face. No, don't no. have the nope. nasal shot. Hey, clothing shot. on, Ryan, clothing, clothing on. on. Oh, clothing, <laughs> got it. It's so important got to have it. the clothing on. But smile, look at the camera, exude joy, happiness, radiance. Like someone swiping, it's a nanosecond for them to decide if you're, you're going right or right. left. Right. Just you want to write. Now I understand though, face. this is a very expensive fee that yes, you charge. But this I'm is, worth it. It's like, <laughs> yeah. like two, I love that. How much, money, how much money are we talking and people are paying this? So it's $2,000 a month for the full shebang. Wow. And then I also do what's called a dating diagnosis, which is 500 and I go in, I read through the apps, I see where there are red flags and I tell the client how to do it better. Right. Well, do you, do you, are you on Groupon? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Meredith. <laughs>